couple of us were upset about the state of our community, the hyper gentrification taking over the entire capital. And we just thought with a bit of music and a lot of love that we could maybe do something. And that's why we're here today. It looks like we're going to be Paris soon. We're all going to be living on the periphery. Why do we have to be driven out when money moves in? We want our community improved, but not on our backs. We don't want to be driven out for that to happen. We want to stay here. So have decided that there'd be more money in regenerating our estate than there would be in repairing and looking after it properly. The council say that they want to repair and regenerate and bring our blocks up to a decent housing standard. Most places on the estate are already double glazed. We've had cavity wall insulation. We don't need regeneration, we just need repair. They haven't cleared our gutters even for the past year. And then they say, oh, well, won't you think the people living in damp housing? Of course it's damp, you haven't cleared our gutters. Our estate is one of the six estates been put up for regeneration by Lambeth Council. Regeneration means demolition. <laughs> At the moment they are saying we can go back, only tenants, leaseholders will be compulsory purchase. They could possibly go back under a shared ownership scheme. Um, Tenants can go back, but we have to lose our secure tenancies. People feel safe. People trust people to leave parcels with. People know who to ask to get their shopping if they're ill. And there's also the thing of because we're in lots of tight clusters, it feels safe to have your children playing within view of your kitchen window, for instance. The council are being very, very tight-lipped about how the process will go. I mean, they didn't even tell the residents on our estate that we was up for regeneration. What really frightens us is the fact that we could be handed over to a private development in future. The council are promising to run it, but there's no guarantee that they will continue to run it. All we really wanted was to be listened to rather than told you're going to be regenerated regardless of what you actually want or need. I've been a Labour supporter and voter most of my adult life and this is the first year ever that I've really struggled to think who the hell am I going to vote for? These councils have taken our rental income for many, many, many years not reinvested it back into the housing stock which is why we're in the position we're in now and that's not the residents fault this is the council's fault for not investing our money properly primary focus this is really what moved us when we had our first meeting it's also about people that are in private accommodation we've got an estate with 96 flats on it and it's the same freeholder for all the flats and he's also the landlord to most of us the majority there's a few leaseholders as well but um, apart from allowing a grade two listed building to go into massive disrepair with bits falling off it and in places it's quite dangerous with the balconies collapsing and they're propped up with wooden struts. In the last few years they've just been ripping us off with rents, like we've had like 50-60% rent rises in a single year. Some people's rents have gone like from 800 to 1600 within about 2-3 years. Generally they're hitting people with anywhere from 8 to 10% increase year in, year out, with no justification. You can't negotiate with them because they use a management company, keep you at total arm's length, so your hands are tied really and if you don't like it they just 
ship you out from someone else? In? There are a lot of people who have been there for a long time, up to 20 years. Um, initially, the, the buildings were crumbling, so you would get basically a lot of arty type of people moving in there, doing up the flats themselves. And because of the way that it's situated, you build a community. We have a uh, summer party. It's like a mini festival every summer. And we look out for each other and everyone says hello to you when you meet them in the hallways and we generally are a really strong community. We reject the rip-off rent rises, we're trying to stop the evictions of anyone who questions them and we just want to like leave our community intact. The people that built up this place, built up people like my parents that came from places like Jamaica, the Caribbean and built up this country. Do you know what I mean? They're just throwing us away. They're just trying to demoralise a whole generation of people. We are not going to do it. Tracy was a co-op tenant living in Clapham. Today she's sitting in her house waiting for high court bailiffs that have been summoned by Lambeth to evict her. She's a disabled woman who's lived in that home for 55 years. In about 2009 or thereabouts, Lambeth told us that short life was being recalled. This meant a mixture of evictions and transfer of properties to housing associations. We were told that vulnerable people, families and those properties that were not under-occupied could stay in their homes. We were told that there would be consultations and discussions. The next official thing from Lambeth said that everybody would have to be evicted. The reason given was that the housing associations that the properties would go to would only take them if there were vacant possessions. Lambeth used this reason in court to get possession. Kate Harry checked this out. Notting Hill Housing Association said that they were happy to take on residents and in fact it was Lambeth insisting on vacant possession. From then on we realised Lambeth were t utterly dishonest, prepared to lie under oath to get us out of our homes in order to sell properties they've not spent any money on or cared for. When I went to see her yesterday, the ironic thing was, is the house next to her is empty. The man there was evicted two years ago. It was bought by someone who has kept it empty. That is the property speculation that is driving up prices, driving up rents, and driving us out of our homes and our communities. I'm in the process of being evicted by the High Court bailiffs. I'm in my 50s, I'm disabled, and Lambeth couldn't care less. They've spent almost two years trying to get me to agree to be rehoused in an unsuitable property, unsuitable because of my disabilities. When Lambeth had to concede that I needed a spare room for a carer, Lambeth redesignated the one bed flat and called it a two bed. Lambeth decided <laughs> this just, yeah, that the living room wasn't needed, so called it a bedroom instead and told me I'd need to pay the bedroom tax too. Lambeth are using high court bailiffs to evict a disabled 56 year old woman yeah. and ultimately making me homeless. Tracy's story is a story that's happening to people across Lambeth. What we're trying to highlight here is it is an issue that affects all of us. And what we need is solidarity between us. When you see your neighbour under threat, stand outside their house and stop them being evicted. When you see people on their council estate facing demolition and the, and the loss of social housing, stand with them. This is a, fact, a thing that affects all of us and therefore we have to stand together and say a house should be a home. It's not an asset for property developers. If people can stand together, you know, black and white people, everybody, you know, come whether you're in social housing or private housing, let's stand together and, and stop this, you know, catastrophe. Because they're playing us.
a subsidy this year from the government, so you know it's kind of convenient that all of a sudden, like, where they've been the absent landlord for me for 25 years, they've now come down wanting me to possibly pay triple, quadruple the rent. I employ about five people directly, and then I have about another four fitters. So if this kind of like if we call it a day here, Network Rail decide to kick us out, they triple the rent, quadruple the rent. The knock-on effect for me would more likely be around about. 30, 35 people will have their lives affected directly. Lambert Council knew about this long time ago. I'm afraid they knew. They planned it with them. So they are together. Because all they want is money. All they wanted us is to go and get to bigger shops to take it. People have more money than us. But when we come back, after six months, we have no more clients. Our clients is gone. It doesn't make any sense at all. We can come back and we can try and pay three times the rent, but I can't sell the stuff I'm selling at the prices I'm selling. And that's the point. It, it's going to cut out and exclude a whole section of, of, of our community here that won't, have, won't be able to go and buy affordable fabrics, food, DIY, all the stuff that people here rely on day to day. I call it ethnic cleansing. <laughs> I don't know, I might be wrong, but that's what I think. People don't actually want the change. They don't actually live in Brixton saying it. Brixton would be so much better if we had loads and loads of shops that we see at Westfield. If they wanted to go to Westfield, they would actually go there or to Thorough or Blue Water or wherever. They know they live in Brixton for a reason and the reason why they live in Brixton is because of people like us and all the other independent traders. I've been here 22 years and I'm happy in Brixton. And we're all together like a one big family. And that's why we love Brixton. Over the period of time that, that, we, that we're here and stuff, you, 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 you get friendly with people. You, you, know, you see, see your children born, you see them growing up, you, you, you serve them, you, you, know, you see them get married. Um, and, you know, and we're here. You know, we, 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 you know, for ourselves here, we've, you know, we've, we've taken in people's keys and stuff when people are expecting their... You know, some are flying in from a different country. They're not going to be here for, to, to welcome them when they get here. And they, you know, they, they, they trust us you know, with their, their, their house keys, with their, you know, with their dry cleaning to drop off next door, you know. It, you know, it's just about, it's a human thing, you know, it's just, it's, it's not about just selling stuff, it's just about, it's just about being there for people. Right? Stand together and let people be aware of what is going on, because a lot of people don't know what's going on. So today they know. It will demonstrate that to Lambeth that they're, they're not representing the people that they're supposed to be serving, but we want people before profit. No ha sido fácil por lo que uh, se ha incrementado todo en el área de Brixton. Eh, cada año nos están subiendo, eh, cada, día, cada año mucho más de lo que normalmente pienso yo que puede, puede, puede ser lo normal.